absolutely amazing comrades. I have not seen the sun since this is just past March equinox. I have not seen the sun since just after last summer. Uh, my tour. My tour is absolutely stunning. But I'll tell you, see today, my local star is absolutely beautiful and I love the sun. And it feels absolutely amazing. I could just die right now. Uh, I'm just doing my physiotherapy. I'm going to see if I could walk around the block and go home. So the, there's our local star, right? The sun. Approximately 93 million miles away from planet Earth. And it is absolutely amazing today. I skin my hat. Right, and I, I cut my chin on my July three bleeders, and I left it left. I just couldn't stop the bleeding because of the drug, the drug thinning drugs that I'm on. Right, right. but they didn't make me any better. Just, just the same. Right? I think I'm a hem hemophiliac. So this is me just taking my physiotherapy. Right. I got my cam with me. I need that, right? I need my cam. It's all quiet and peaceful around here. Uh, there's my church. I've got a lot of churches in Milwaukee, right? But due to the commie atheist agenda, they're all destroyed, dilapidated, in ruins, I mean, hijacked by Luciferians. So, it's kind of tragic, that is, I think. Kind of tragic. Slow people. This is what we are moving into, people. You can, you can see my Peter Stone jacket, right? I could get, I could get two cans in my pocket, right? That's all I really need, right? Cheer me up a little bit, right? I could get two cans in my pocket to break up the day. That's my storm jacket. Uh, yeah, the commies, right? Maybe you don't know this, but the people behind the communist agenda are of course the wrong classes. The people who look like you and I. Uh, they, they promote the anti-white agenda because the biggest threat to their fascist dictatorship are people who look like that, you and I. So that's what you see right through your history, right? Now it's kind of easy for me to problem solve and kind of uh, like a uh, hobbyist of history. And I, I worked at, uh, it was always what they really want, right? The real classes is a new world order. What you see today, right, is mass chaos, child abuse, animal abuse, unemployment, poverty, private banks are outsourcing the jobs. Uh, why they do these things, right, is because it's to just to, to destroy us, right? The biggest threat to their fascist dictatorship. Now, if you, if you remember Hitler, right, in Mein Kampf, he's talking about his, his five years of struggle in, in Vienna. He is on the streets, homeless, but there's non-white, non-white in Germany, right, in Vienna, in Munich. They have got jobs. This is because, right, they would rather give black people or Asian people or Chinese people 
our jobs than than Hitler, because Hitler is a bigger, the biggest threat to their fascist dictatorship. What they really want, right, is they want to rule for eternity without anyone, a class war struggle, right, anyone challenging their rule. So they have to, they have to break us down. And they, they can't just move against us with the legions, as the Romans and that did, right? Because we will just rise up and shoot them all. Uh, so they t they've got a little petty agenda going on at the moment, right? To take away my job and give it to black people, Asian people, Chinese people, because they are not a threat to their dictatorship. That's what they want. Right? They want to reduce the populations, the white nations, of course, that is the Eurasian white nations, right? Uh, they want to break us down to such a level that the the, the people from the lower ranks, the class war struggle, could never challenge them. They could never displace them, take over. So that's what you're seeing today. That's why you see all these horrors. That's why you see all these horrors. This is why you see the commies. The Kame multiculturalist agenda. You can see them, your heroes on the television. Every place you look in social media, if you see whitish looking peoples, they're always multiculturalists. You can see this is your heroes, right? But really, they are your traitors. And this is why they hide away. Because they know that people like Breivik would like to give them a slap. This is why they hide away, right? So if you go on YouTube, and look at your heroes, you can see how pathetic they are, right, selling you out. And they're selling themselves out also. Why they do that? They do that to make cash. They are selling their grandchildren's future for cash, right? And cash is not going to help you in a collapsing society. Nope. Uh, fire making equipment and pots and things, right? Survival skills, that will help you and a collapse in society, right? So to me, right, to me, it's just became totally pathetic. You can see these people, right, they promote the multicultural agenda fanatics, but you can see that they don't live up to that. This is what gave rise to the people believing that these people were conspiring against us. I think uh, Hitler had the right of it. They are just selfish individualists. I'm going to have to rest here for the moment. This is like, see if you look across here. If you look across here, that fence wasn't there, right? When I was a child, I used to, that's, the, that's the wall I used to climb and go up by the children's home, right? That led me up to the big wall, Merson Avenue, Fogley Gardens. This is Harefield Road, right? You can see my beautiful trees. It's, it's kind of amazing that the commies haven't cut them down just to piss me off. So that's, that's what you're seeing today, people, right? You're seeing. Uh, the ruling classes, right? The Eurasian white ruling classes, they're behind the agenda and they want to break us down because they fear us. They fear their own. The class war, that's what it's about. Now if you look at if you look at the Bolshevik Revolution in nineteen seventeen <coughs> right these communists they had swept into Russia. They killed killed the royal family. Right? They were they were doing this revolution on behalf of the peasants. But that doesn't make any sense to me, right? Because you look at collectivism in twenty eight, right? In the end, right? They they swept these communists who look like us. They swept into Russia. They <coughs> 
They killed the royal family. They had taken away millions and millions and millions, tens of millions of Russian peoples and shot them all. They called them enemies of the people. Right? That after they had killed half of Russia, they all killed each another. But if you, if you look, right, if you look in Britain, around about the same time, right, in the 20s, the Communist Party in Britain, they were given gay people, gays rights. This was the start of the sleazy agenda and the criminal agenda. Now, they weren't thinking about conservative gay peoples. If you, if you look at gay, the gay rights parades, you can see that these people are maniacs, they are sleazy, they are disgusting type people. So they are not representing normal gay peoples, right? This is what they were doing. They were communist atheists, ruling classes, they were promoting chaos, and they were unleashing the freaks, heterosexuals and homosexual freaks, right? to have sex on the streets in front of you and your family. This is what they were doing. And this is what you see today on your television. The commie slab television, right? You just see these rich people with their blacks, right? And their perversions, right? That's, this is all you see on your television, right? These rich people taking the piss out of us. So remember that, right? That was the, the, commie, the communist agenda, right? is as the rich ruling classes behind that and they're just taking the piss out of us now. And if you want to get on in this world, you have to be a lefty. You have to be a multiculturalist. You have to be sleazy and perverted and abnormal and freaky. If you are a normal person, you will not get on in this world. But what I say, right, that is just the, the noisy minority behind that. That's not the silent majority, Alex. The silent majority is watching. <coughs> they know what you're doing and Breivik is coming for you. This is where I grew up, Alex. Right? Still on the Harefield Road. I grew up here, right? This all used to be derelict. I used to play in here as a kid. There was nothing here, right? And then later they developed it. So they, they cut some of my trees down. That pissed me off, right? You can see it's a bit of a mess, right? But not so bad, right? That's my new home bargain for. You can see the net. Comrades. Maybe I'll let you see it a little bit later, right? Move along here, right? That's Florence Booth out there. See that tree? Probably cut my tree down. That tree has been there since I was a kid, right? I never forget it because it's beautiful. Most amazing tree, yeah. I don't know what it's called, a tree. This flood is built up there. That's one of the first children's homes I was in. They knocked it all down, cut all the trees down, but they left some parts of it. Yeah. So Hitler was right, comrades, Fuhrer. Fuhrer, Hitler was, he was correct. He told you it's the Jews, right? But he was he was mistaken and misled. That's just the Eurasian elites behind the agenda, and they want to reduce the populations. And they've got a point, of course, right? They've got a point. Reduce the populations so they could create a more stable nation and things, right? Because overpopulation is a real problem today. No jobs, unemployment, mass crime, they've got a point there, right? But that will also it'll be harder for the people 
ever to get any like uh, to destroy those ruling class networks for people like me to take over Britain that will be all but impossible but I don't I don't really care right I believe in the new world order we do need to reduce the populations right but how they go about it is different I've got more humane ways of doing that so you can see the net right you can see the net on the roof the home bargains no one would put a net on the roof, right? That is just total illness. This is dumbing us down, right? That's to, that's to make sure that we are pacified, that no one will... <coughs> even though, even though it's... Even though it's completely stupid, right? No one will ever complain about it, and no one ever did, only me. This is... This is to reassure us, as the subject, that we are totally and utterly pacified, right? Yes, that's what that's, what that's about, because they, they say to me, Trevor, we put the net up there to stop the pigeon droppings ruining the... Uh, uh, destroying the roof. But that's a metal roof, right? The pigeon droppings will not ruin the roof. They will be washed off. Even if they are not washed off, they shall not ruin the roof. So you can see... They're getting us used to illness. Let's see if I can get down these stairs without killing myself. Now, another thing, right? If you look at the communist, the communist Marxist meeting in London a few a few months back, you will see that the communists, right, were running around Britain. Uh, pasting their leaflets all over the place. But the people fought back, right? Every time you see a lamppost, have a look at their communist Marxist posters. People are picking them off and peeling them off because they do not trust them, right? They represent death. <coughs> That's what they represent, death. They would rather give an immigrant my job than let me have a job. Because I am a bigger threat to their fascist, brave new world. Uh, that's my new home bargain store. It's pretty bloody wonderful, but it's a little bit big for me. I kind of prefer the little store, so I could get around it better. But it's still a great store, right? But there's a few little issues that I have with the store. I'm going to let you see, you know, so you've, you've, you've seen the roof, right, the net on the roof, that, re that is representative of complete illness, there's no reason to do that, that's just to get us used to, that's just to make you feel like you're pacified, it's over for you, just go home, scoff pies and watch your telly, so you can see the fence, right, that, you know that fence is, that's, that's re that to me, right, is ill, that's an ill fence, the person who did that is ill, right? He's an ill person, probably an Eastern European, a migrant into Britain. That's a very ill person who did that. That's disgusting, right? That's, that's where we're. That's where we're going to be in the end. Everything is just falling apart. But not so bad where I live, right? These are just little things, little things. But in other parts of the world, they've got no chance. America, Russia, China, Asia, the non-developing nations, they are shot through, right? I think in the end, Alex, right, you and people like me will be hiding behind the river, right, in farming communities and things like that. Then what will we do, right, when we see a million black people moving towards us? We're going to have to fight them. That's the reality. That's what it was about, is the elite, the Illuminati hide away. It's not even, it's not even the politicians today, comrades. They are not to blame for the multicultural agenda. It started in Britain in the 1920s, so, right? under the monarch, George V, but that was a constitutional monarch. 
he has nothing to do with politics. Lloyd George, they were the politicians who were behind that agenda. They were allowing non-whites into Britain in the 1920s. But in America, it started after the American Civil War in 1865. In 1866, Ulysses S. Grant, the great hero, the great Yankee who won the American Civil War, he started to force white people to share their transportation and accommodation with non-whites. He is your enemy. He is our nemesis, right? So you can start to see it now, right? It won't be, I think, 50 years from now, right? But it'll be really bad. they will be fighting it out, right? Millions and millions of people are going to be moving into the countryside making camps and looking for fuel and food because the city will go fast. I, I, give it, I give it a month, right? And the whole city will be uh, devoid of wood and food. They'll all be moving into the countryside and on contact we will find. As your heroes who truly are your treasures as you watch them selling us all out.